Hello everyone and welcome to a new, I'm um, hoping it's going to be series. Um, instead of doing an animation production diary, I'm going to try and do a modelling um, sort of journal, as you were. Um, these won't be tutorials because, well, it's going to be very simple things, but I thought it might be interesting for people to actually see me creating stuff because though I have made a few models, um, I don't really do much animating with them because obviously my main project is Second Empire. Um, now one of the little projects I've got on the side at the minute is um, a couple of Dalit shorts. Um, but before I get into production on that, I need to make a few essential models for them, a few sets, that sort of thing. So depending on how this video goes, I might be doing more, I might not. Um, so this is my um, Mark III Dalek. Now, one of the things that I've always needed for my Daleks, but have never got around um, until now to making, is a control panel. Uh, now, this Dalek isn't finished yet. It's been sitting on my computer for about a year. Um, still needing some work. I mean, the the gun needs some work doing to it. The shoulders do, and the mesh needs adding. But it will suit for our purposes today. Uh, now, as I said, I'm going to be making a control panel. Uh, I did think about making my own um, because the way I treat these Daleks is not as the props, but as actual machines. So um, they aren't dented unless they're damaged. They aren't. They haven't got the scuffs on that the, the series ones have. They are actually machines, and um, well, I'll treat them as that. Uh, so the thing I'm going to be making today is this. I've got some screenshots of the various control panels we see. Uh, now these are screenshots from the um, the Dalek. So modelling this. It's not going to be exact because I've tried to model this before and it's quite tricky to get the exact um, shape and look. Um, and also I think I'm going to treat them as kind of Daleks but with today's kind of technology so it's not going to be square screens it's not going to be the twisty um, colour spheres it's going to be kind of interfaces with the plungers so people can't access it. Uh, my thoughts behind that is when people design these things they also have to think how the actor is going to interface with them or like say if you boarded a Dalek ship and all of a sudden they've got a keyboard. Well, how does the Dalek use the keyboard? Um, the new series would have us think that they place their plunger over something and, I don't know, it, it taps out because it's got a little arm in there or something. But um, I prefer to have a control interface that no human could access. But if they did need to, they could take a panel off the side and actually directly interface with the computer or you know something like that. Anyway. So, so I've got some views of the control panel. So we're going to be adding all this stuff inside. Um, and I think it's going to be kind of like a maybe a tall square monitor. Um, maybe some detailing lights behind it. Um, maybe even a split screen. Because these are very simple controls uh, for the city. Uh, let's see what this is also got some pictures of the invasion of earth uh, control panels they're obviously very human so they've just been taken from bits of machinery got the design sketches for the um, control panel in victory of the Daleks and also got some screenshots from that it's the battered one control panels from the I think the this was the last time no last time we saw these control panels were in Stolen Earth, I think it was. The last um, Dalek one with David Tennant. More Invasion of Earth. Very, very simple controls. And that's it. So, enough rabbiting. Let's get on. Um, obviously, first we need to make the size. So, I did think about making a Dalek uh, from scratch, but there are already some very good tutorials online 
um, for various programs like um, what's it called? Not ZBrush, the free one, Blender, and the way I learned to build Daleks was from McKimry's new series Dalek tutorial, which I will link in the description. Okay, so. Oh. about right. Now, make that editable. So I'll have the control panel say, let's make it 300. Just be nice and neat. So the Dalek will come up to the control panel and look down and do we want the interface to be up? Or to be down. We'll have a simple, a simple sphere. Okay, so it's going to be a placeholder for that. Um, now, if I wanted to be really simple, all I could really do is say make a pole with a, um, a sucker attachment on it, and I could say the Dalek sees uh, what the computer, what the control panel is displaying in his travel machine, um, which would be even more kind of um, what's the word like thinking they were real treating uh like security so literally if someone was spying on it it couldn't they couldn't see without seeing what the dalek sees inside its casing but you've also got to kind of find the balance between what's kind of realistic and what's artistic uh yes it would make more sense but to have a dalek to stare and say Oh yes, um, the intruders are in this. I can see them on the security monitors, and we're not seeing what the Dalek sees. Of course, then you could go to an interior shot of the Dalek's casing, but that's another thing you've got to model. You've got to model the mutant. Uh, do you treat it kind of like the Iron Man um, point of view, where it's a black background with his face illuminated? Um, and plus, with these Daleks, they're actually hardwired into their casings. There's no screen for them to be looking at. Um, this is literally its arm, this is literally its eye. So all the input is fed into the mutant's brain. Um, so we're going to be showing what's on the screens. Now, if we take a look at the reference images, we can see that it has um, a kind of base and then it slopes back and goes straight up again. Or maybe not straight up, but no that's right, sorry, I forgot. It doesn't go straight up, it slants back and then a little bit is um not what's the opposite of recessed? Extruded out. And then it's flat at the top. And all the time it's got the cur the um the, the slant kind of I don't know why I'm doing it with my hands but Anyway, so we need to make this wider, and instead of being, let's make it, let's make it 450, is that too wide? No, I don't think so. Of course, what I could do is... Put that in the middle. Have him move his plunger over that way.
So what you can then do is fifteen. Then you could potentially have two more Daleks on either side accessing the same thing. So, for example, if they're tracking down intruders, three Daleks could be on one terminal. One could be looking at one section, and the other, you know, split them off. Uh, right. So, we need to split this up so we can start modeling. But first, I think what we'll do is extend this back. Now, at the minute, it is 200, isn't it? So, that's 100, that's plus two, 100. Let's make this minus 250. Ooh, too much. Let's make this 150. That's better. Then, I want to get a knife tool. I was just using the shortcut there, it's easier. Uh, doesn't really matter where we place this, press shift to make it straight. Um, actually, that's not bad, but let's make it 40. Yeah. Let's bring this down like that. Hmm. Of course, now with these, Oops. press caps lock instead of shift. How does that look? off. Hmm. It's kind of hard to make a decision with it looking so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push these over to my other monitor so I can kind of look at both of them at the same time. I guess that's okay. Okay, now go top view, select. These points. And let's make it three hundred. Excuse me, Dalek. Oh, has anyone else seen the new Dalek toys? Um, you can get them in Forbidden Planet. Alright, what I've got to do is I've got to line these up. I bought one yesterday. Uh, they're only about £7. And I kind of like them. The only thing I don't like about the new size range is one... I was really looking forward to buying a new Cyberman figure because I've got all the others. Um, so I've got like a little army of them. I've got about 10 of the Series 2 to 5 Cyberman figures. And I was really kind of annoyed that you can't get those size figures anymore. So this is the problem I ran into last time. I've got to line these up, so let's make that 350. Um, which ones do I do? 
at 175. Hey, that went 175. Can I get that? Oh, okay. Okay. Oop, no, I don't. Five. I'm probably being really stupid. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. really bothers me, that just does not look right. But is it? It must be. I need to line these up, don't I? That's better. One one six point five one one five no six. Yep, point five. Whoops. Is that one? One nine six. I'm sure this is fascinating to everyone. Okay, so why isn't it? Huh. Yeah, another thing that bothers me about the new figures is that the like the humans, like the doctors, sorry, the humanoids, the doctor. Clara, uh, I think those are the only two humanoids, aren't they? I don't think they've done Rory and Amy as them. Their paint jobs are horrible. It looks like someone's just literally slapped uh, some flesh tone on them and then put two little dots for eyes. There's no detail in the face. I mean, I've got... I'm look, looking at now a picture of the Brigadier. Sorry, of the figure of the Brigadier, not the picture. And... It's a really nice figure, actually, but I think when you get down to these sizes, the 3.75 inch, you're sacrificing so much detail, and you don't actually realise it until you compare the two. I mean, I'm not going to buy... I mean, I was actually really looking forward to getting an Ice Warrior as well, but I'm not going to do that now. Okay, so let's see how much... Space that is between Say twenty to three point five. Uh, we want to add a point. Snap settings, enable snap.
Let's try it as an ass. That's better. That's a better way to do it. Eighteen point four one. Oops. Fifty one point nine three six. What was it? I'd forget my head if it wasn't screwed on. I forgot it again. Well, let's note it down. And I want another point. The knife, do that, Set all points, and do, where is it, optimise, which gets rid of all the nasty points we don't want. I don't really know how it determines what points are nasty and what points aren't. But I'm assuming it's something to do with if a point is connected to a polygon. Okay, um, we want to extrude this ever so slightly. Let's make it 10. And then. Does that still work? Whoops. Okay, so I'm thinking that's looking pretty good. And what we'll do is we'll save it. Uh, 
Oi, 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 I've really got to sort these out. Um, there we go. Type city machines. It's, um, a be machine. Okay, um, next. We're not done yet. Don't know how long I've been recording for, and I hope this isn't too boring for everyone. Please tell me if there's a way I can improve it. I am always open to suggestions. Um, let's just make that 20 instead. And we need a glass type material. Perfect, but it will do. It's a placeholder. Sex selection. I uh, will call it glass. So now we can see inside that. Um, what we'll do is. Inside the control panel, and we will close polygon hole, but it's not considered a hole because it is inside the object, so we'll create polygon. So we'll have this, that. Quite good. I think we will add a couple of bits to these. Add a cap. Oh, 
Oh. And the camera snaps to a random place, so we'll get another camera in. There we go. Yeah, it's looking okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe just these a little bit as well. Okay, so I think I'll leave it there. I don't know how long this recording has gone on for. Um, next time I will uh, start adding some detail, putting some uh, bits and bobs into this bit to um, to look like these. Uh, as I said before, if you've enjoyed this, uh, please let me know by liking or commenting. Uh, any suggestions to improve um, the video, make it more interesting, I'm always willing to accept uh, them. And thank you very much for watching. See you next time.